Caitlin. And I'm Sarah. And this, and this is, is Lions Are X. The GHS golf season is wrapping up. Here's Devontae's interview with Coach Johnson about golf. How did your team compete in the district tournament? District tournament. Our district tournament is a two-day tournament. We have uh, take the boys and the girls, and we went to the same same place and played. First day, the boys shot a 402, which then we we challenged ourselves to improve the second day and try to improve by 10 strokes a player. And uh, with the five, there's five guys on the team and then two extra that play for medalists. Uh, overall. We improved a lot more than, than we expected to. We dropped uh, below 400 the first time, we shot 382. Then uh, we had two guys that were medalists that both improved by 19 and 20 strokes, which was really a good, a good plan for us. Uh, the girls also shot, uh, they shot a 515 the first day, and the second day they shot under 500 for the first time, which was good. So we improved both days. Uh, Team-wise, we were still uh, out of money. But uh, we had uh, 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 ninth and tenth graders are basically all we've got. So we've got a young team, and we have a chance now then to set a mark that we can go after, which we did the first day, and then we we lowered our score. And that's the plan: is to uh, to continue to improve and drop our score. We had one player that tied for 20th. Uh, Ryan Lesfield shot a 95.84, which was the second day was really good. And uh, the girls, uh, we've got a couple of sophomores that, that improved their scores drastically. We've got one drop down to 119 from, from uh, let's see, she had shot, I think, 11 strokes more than that the day before. So overall, we had great improvement with a very young team. And so we're, we're looking forward to playing next year and get back in. Which players led the team in points the last season? Okay. Uh, of course, we play. We don't really have points. What, what the, the when they score it, you you have a chance to come in uh, as a team and then as individuals. And uh, Ryan Richfield and William Strickland on the boy side, boy side, really uh, showed the, the, the most improvement. Uh, but then we had uh, James Vaughn, who uh, over over the year lowered his score down into the uh, the 80s and 90s. And uh, we've had a number of players that have been, improved their game quite a bit. Like I said, we, we're freshmen and sophomores on the guy side, and uh, some of them we've got some crossovers. We got five football players that are playing, and uh, with the time that they're putting in, they they've shown a lot of improvement. On the girls' side, uh, once again, we've got uh, we had one senior, Lexi Dick, but Lexi was involved with with flashes quite a bit, and uh, being her senior year, she didn't put quite quite as much work in as as she normally would. And uh, Lexi had a, had a good tournament and, and played strong. But we have uh, Tiffany Tanner uh, dropped and had, had the best round for the girls all year. She shot a 109. And some of these girls had never played 18 holes. They played, uh, you know, nine holes, but they never played on a big tournament in, in 18 holes. So we're, we're, we're gaining all that experience. And with that, building for next year, we, we're, we're looking forward to, to having a good, good year next year. Out of the four high school teams that were taken to DI State Competition in Lubbock on April 1st through 3rd, 2011, only one earned a spot at the Globals Competition. The structured team received third place out of 23 teams. Team managers are Jackie Abbott and Catherine Cantrell. Team members are Austin King, Tyler King, Travis Tankersley, Eddie Arnold, Sarah Perkins, Riley Cox, and Blake Taylor. Globals Championship will be held in Nashville, Tennessee, May 25th through 29th. Eight, hold down zero. One half, tickle the shin, and everybody say, To, to stop, stop the numbers, numbers evil reign, add power to make change. Numbers will become a whole, and precious quadrants shall not be sold. Numbers go up and they go down, zero and one half will now be bound. What's happened? I finished my sentence! <laughs> On March 3rd through 5th, the Robo Wranglers made an alliance with the Bomb Squad and the Bronx Squad. The Robo Wranglers dominated the elimination matches without a loss and winning over their opponents by 60 points or more. The alliance set a new world high score of 135 points, breaking their own record of 122. 
Winning the regional championship qualifies team 148 for the world championship in St. Louis, April 27 to 30. April 7 through 9, the Robo Wranglers traveled to the Dallas Convention Center. Season number one, they made their alliances with 2848 and 3037. They won the Motorola Quality Award. Winning this award helps them get nominated to win this award at the World Competition. <laughs> Graduation is approaching not only for the class of 2011, but for early graduates busy taking classes preparing to receive their diploma a year earlier than planned. How does taking classes at PJC aid a student in early graduation? Uh, it gives the student uh, college experience while in high school, allows the student to have college credit upon graduation, and it also uh, speeds or quickens the student's abilities to uh, graduate from college. Is taking college classes in high school beneficial for everyone? It is not beneficial for everyone. The main students who benefit are the ones who are academically driven, um, have uh, strong discipline and goals that are already set uh, going into their career and, and have pretty strong academic uh, goals are uh, already planned out. To most people, dress code is very limited. Travis Tankersley and Ashley Hall went to the mall to find out how you can spice up your wardrobe. Hi, we're at Belk and we're shopping for uniforms. We're going to teach you how to personalize your dress code. You can go from a plain polo and a regular pair of khakis, and you can add a jacket and a different belt, and you get a whole new outfit that looks way better this. Now as you can see here with these shorts, they may look like they're in dress code, but they're not because of the pockets on the side. Get something more like this. This is in dress code, looks nice, you could even wear it outside of school. And then you can take something like this right here, a nice sweater vest and wear it over a black or a white collared shirt. And if you wear one of these, you don't even have to tuck your shirt in. Shopping doesn't always have to be expensive. Khakis are $19.99. You can also get some nice polos for $14.99 and can be stylish in your polo. You can also get these non cargo shorts for $19. Thank you for watching Lion Direct. You stay classy, GHS. And thanks for stopping by.